Hello everyone, it's Lefistra here. I'm back to play more of the next big thing. And last time we left off, we are pretty much in the mind of uh, Liz Lear. This lady. Got so far, yeah. I made some progress. I, I uh, had some trouble with certain puzzles last stream, but I made some progress. I made some progress. Hello, everyone. Oh, so it's lunchtime. I'm eating lunch while I play. Uh, so if you guys you know want to grab a snack or anything, that's that's also cool, All right? But uh, yeah, let me look around. For yeah. some hello, hello, welcome to the stream. I know exactly what's inside each one of these boxes. For example, I ask myself what's in this one, and I answer a pear. Pear yeah, what? I'm of braziers. A pair of braziers? They must be enormous. I don't want to open it. You want to open it? Okay. Oh, do you snack here, Sailor Kitty? Yeah. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. And suddenly the music starts playing, of course. It has a typical lamp made of knots on it. This notebook looks familiar. Ah! Oh, I just remembered something. I caught Big Albert snooping around Fitz Randolph's office. Yes, yes, yes! Okay, so she's remembering some stuff now. So, yeah. Those of you who missed it, you know, and just a quick recap, right? She got mind controlled by uh, Fitz Randolph. In which, in my last stream, I... I call him Fitzgerald for some reason. I don't know why. Okay. But. Yeah. So she got mind controlled. This lady by the evil bad guy. And so uh, our friends wanted to save her. Tried to remove the microchip or thing that's in her brain. Uh, one of it. You no. Know, broke off and got stuck in it. So that's why we are here in her mind. And hello Dorfie Story. Thank you. Thank you. I can't believe it's two years. Yeah, it's been two years. No Free Story is, is one of the few that has been here since the beginning and have actually seen my face. She knows how I look like, or he. <laughs> but yeah, very rare. Because I you can't find any of the vaults showing my face anymore. But No Free Story, they know. They, they know. I know how I look like. It's very fascinating. It's a faraway country. A faraway country that no one knows anything about. Nothing inside interests me. Is there anything in the box that interests you? It's another box inside this one. I don't want it. Oh, so she has nothing she wants. It's full of post-its. Yellow ones. Square. Three inches by three inches. Okay. Now it's staying here. Cactus. There's a game logo there. I see it. Okay. Can I look at my... this. That's the one Big Albert was carrying when he escaped from Fitz Randolph's office. Okay, so... Um What am I reading? I I can't hear myself, so that's the thing. The glass is too thick for me to hear me. What am I reading? I mean, don't you remember? You say you remember, but then you don't. What are you reading? I like messy desks. It doesn't seem like anyone works at the neat ones. 
Hey, my desk is pretty neat. I work. My desk at the Quill is like this, but with chewed on pencils, a calendar for next year, and marks from my boots. Why are there marking boots on your desk? I don't want anything here. Oh, okay. Nothing else from here? Maybe I can go look at the other floors, too, and maybe I can find stuff that can break the glass or something. Only I would think of hanging the jacket in a place like this. Of course. I get stuck. Although, this button... Okay, should we want that button? Love her? Yeah. I mean, Liz grows on you. She does grow on you as the I game progresses. I just something. Fitz Randolph lied! The new direction of the MKO is hiding something bigger! Yes, yes, yes! Okay, so we need to find the stuff that reminds that her on the other the side. memory. Is really a message that he wants to send to the entire country announcing the start of his campaign for Congress. He's putting alienating chips into anyone that opposes him. And he's making the monsters act in family films so that instead of fear, they give him the positive image with the public that he needs to win the election. Whoa. Now that's a plot twist. I mean, should I have expected that? Maybe. But I didn't. It's Pandora's. Pandora's box? If you open it, all the bad things in the universe come out. Yeah, Fitz Randolph the traitor. You know, the fact that he wants to put the chip in his own, like, friend's mind. The friend that he knows so long, you know, Dan. They're like close friends, seriously. I did mention that I don't want anything that's in any of these boxes, right? Okay, fine, fine. I won't make you take anything out from the boxes. Okay. So nothing else here that they want, she wants. I can go to the other floors. Yeah, the floors are really weird. Completely dark. Of course it is. Reminds me of Queenie, my beautiful sister, the painter. Oh, and then everything shows Ayo, up. Hey, oh, Queenie! Five paintings, little sister. Get it? What? Stop being thick and help me out. Five paintings. Five blasted paintings. For tomorrow. Are you having an exhibit? If I make it. But I'm dry, Lizzie. I don't know what incarnation to paint. But me? You paint so much better than I do. Take that story somewhere else. I need ideas. Okay. About what? I have no idea. I, which? Scenes, Lizzie. Megalithic scenes. Amazing. To take my breath away. Get it? Yes, yes, yes. You know what? In the last few days, a ton of megalithic, amazing, breathtaking things have happened to me. I don't need tons. Just five. Shoot. I'll tell you. Uh, no, I won't tell you. How can that be? Right now, I can't remember anything. Nothing? Nothing. Lizzie, don't give up. Use your noggin. Get it? Okay, I'll try to remember five scenes to inspire you, said Liz. Okay, enjoy the lurk. Okay. When did you get back from Paris? Never. What incarnation did you get back? Where? To Paris. No more than an instant ago. Why? Curiosity. Yeah, just a reminder that this is in her brain. Because everything is happening in her mind. You have an opening tomorrow. Let's talk about it. How many more paintings do you need for the opening tomorrow? Five. Five darn paintings. When you think of something breathtaking, send it my way. What gallery are you showing in? Guess. One of Dad's. Bingo. Some darn painter fell through. And like always, Queenie Sherry, cover for me. What's your work fetching these days? Lots, right? Too much. If a painting has the flame-proof red Q that I use to sign all my paintings, it triples in price. That's absurd. Take Chartres. Is there anything more impressive than the Chartres Cathedral? Nothing. And who in Tarnation signed that? Let's leave your show aside for now. Yeah, talk about our family. So our family is rich, apparently. That's what I'm gathering from uh, the conversation. Three names of babysitters from our childhood. Time. Emily, Roberta, and Anouk. Now, 
None of these is the name I'm looking for, but thanks. Free babysitters, man. Have you heard anything from Anne Marie? Can it, Lizzie? I don't want to know anything about your sister. And yours. Don't get started. I didn't choose her. Oh, they have another sister? Okay. Have you talked to mom lately? Yeah. I told her I was going to tattoo a Q on my forehead and she screamed, Jean-Michel, Jean -Michel, did you hear did your you daughter? Hear her for daughter? God's sake, God she's in Alaire. She's in Alaire. <laughs> ah, same as always. Let's not talk about family. Aya. Aya. Yeah, poor Anne-Marie. No, poor Anne-Marie, sorry. The guy in the photo is Queenie's official boyfriend. He's crazy. I like him. Because you're crazy too. Painting, bottle, cans, sketches. There's nothing interesting here. Art books and painting supplies. 100% Queenie. I like the way Queenie leaves everything such a mess. I don't need any of these art books. Really, nothing fake. Painting supplies, but they don't interest me. Okay, nothing to take from her. It's not good to let oneself get carried away by disappointment. Once I was looking for a needle in a haystack. I like for things to work out on the second try. Sewing kit. What's that? Okay, never mind. I think we're supposed to give her stuff? Probably. Do, do I give her stuff? Ah, here's a scene that I remembered earlier. Okay. Here goes, Queenie. Fitz Randolph wants to go into politics. Can you imagine that? With so it sort of will probably help her regain a memory, I think, is, is what I'm getting. Okay, you know, Fitzgerald. Hmm. Do you really think he'll go around dressed like that? But Lizzie, it's artistic license. I'm gonna keep thinking. Get it? Okay. Ah, here's a scene that I remembered earlier. Here goes, Queenie. I caught Big Albert, the most intelligent man in the world, in the act of snooping. You've really got that big Albert guy on the brain. Yo, it's the next yes. big thing, I yes. Think his muscles very pleasing. You have no idea how much. I'm gonna keep thinking. Get it? Okay, so the paintings uh will hang up. Okay. What else can I give? The button's no use. Uh I don't have anything else yet, so I gotta go look for stuff. Is my uh assumption. I can't deny it. Big Albert is impressive. He is. He just needs his brains in his head. Then he's impressive. Because he can't move without his brains, you know? And I mean that literally because Big Albert is Frankenstein. I think that's his first name, Frankenstein Albert. I might be making things up, okay? Wait. The shape is the same, but this is not the place for a campaign button. Oh, sorry. Woohoo! Thanks for the sub. Thank you for the sub. Welcome to the family. Grab the buttons. Does it work? I hated Miss Harrington's sewing class, but now I'm glad. You're right. No doubt this is a dance floor. The one at my parents' house. Well, wait, exactly. what? Exactly. And there's the orchestra and Armando, the butler. Wait, how big is your parents' house? Ayo, Armando. Ayo. Ayo. But if it isn't my little Eliza, how are you, my dear? Well, strange. What a lot of people, aren't there? Ah, you're strange. Don't worry. Thanks. There's a lot of people, huh? Oh, yes. Half the county showed up. Half the county. People who are very discreet. I'm glad I don't see anyone right now. Are you willing to dance for once? Uh, no, 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 no way. People always laugh at me when I dance. Ah, since so her name is Eliza. Explored, I imagine okay. that you wanted to dance. 
No way! Nothing makes me feel more embarrassed than... Huh. You know what, Armando? I'm going to dance. I will overcome my greatest embarrassment, as the Poet of Pain said I would. Now you are talking. Show me your dance card, and get out there on the dance floor. Card? Dance card. Don't you have one? No, will you let that go? You still need a dance card to dance? Rules are what the rules. hell? What would your mother say? Jean-Michel, your daughter is on the dance floor without a dance card. For heaven's sake, she's in a lair. As it should be. So, go get a dance card and come back when you have one. What the hell is this? I mean, okay, so what I've been gathering from memories is she's fucking rich. Okay, so rich that her parents' dance halls, at least one of them, is so freaking big. And I, they're probably very influential, very powerful, I think, because they can invite half the county to their, like, dance party. And they even need a dance cart to dance. Have you ever heard of that? Like a, a party and you have to present a dance card to dance? Are you That's sure kinda insane. I can't dance without a card? But you were right, sure Rabbit. Eliza, it was the buttons. You can't. Your mother would kick me out if she ever found out. Rules are rules. Yeah, apparently her, her mom is not a very fun person. I am, yeah, again, I'm gathering that. Don't ever get in part of the parties? Well, same here. Never really been to a party, so I wouldn't know. I never even like attended prom, so so I really don't know. Where can I find a dance card? I am no expert on this type of fruit, but I heard that they grow in damp places. You've brought a lovely orchestra. Do you like it? I brought it for your mother because she loves flowers. But it didn't impress her as much as I'd hoped. She only likes roses. And only hers. She loves to show them off. Aya! Aya! Yeah, so apparently Liz and her sister don't get along with their mother very well. They don't, you, they don't like uh, the mother. Some drunk must have dropped it. You can pick it up. Ah! I just remembered something! I had a violent argument with that jerk, Dan Murray. Yes, yes, yes! Okay, that's another item I can get to the sister. That's an orchestra? The plant? Okay. I thought it was humans, but okay. Ayo, would you be so kind as to play... Distinguished guests, I hope you enjoy the irresistible mambo, the Monster Kings, that our floral orchestra is going to play next. Thank the you. Floral orchestra. Okay. Very nice music. I don't really see anyone else here. I guess that the people making it is probably saving on animation. How time flies. Yeah, because you're in your mind. And look at the human thing. I'm what I wonder if it actually made it like that. It's crazy. <gasps> Outrageous. I don't want anything I see on this. Not even the list itself. He's in his habitat. Can I take it? Ah, I just remembered something. I scared an enormous polar bear in Fitz Randolph Zeppelin. Yes, yes, yes! Yeah, so she's starting to remember stuff. Too much cold altogether. Okay. The juicer, the bar. Anthony, the waiter, is behind there. A very discreet guy. He is so discreet that I don't see him at all. Mm -hmm. 
It reminds me of, of, of someone, but in juicer form. Someone that she hasn't remembered yet. Okay. Okay, so I don't have anything else I can take here, I don't think. Yeah, so I'm going to go to the other floors. I haven't been to this floor yet, so let's go take a look first. What the hell? It's Spencer McDundee, the Australian actor who's been pigeonholed in Scottish ghost roles. Oh. So, so he's, a, he's a ghost. Okay. Or rather, a, a monster that can take its head off. Fitz Randolph stole my courage and put it in there. Wait a minute. How do I know that? I don't know, but I know. So I have to open it somehow. I don't know the combination, and I know I'm not going to be able to guess it just like that, but... I knew it. I know the combination. Hey, yo. You talk and everything. What is it? Oh, get lost, female. I've seen Fitz Randolph open it out of the corner of my eye plenty of times. Wonderful. What is it? Get lost. Have you ever done anything for me? No, never. What is it? So why should I do something for you? Because you're an angel. What is it? An angel? <laughs> Spencer McDundee, the biggest curmudgeon in Australia and the rudest Australian in Scotland. You're on your own. No matter how many times Liz asked, this portrait of Spencer McDundee would not answer. Liz would have to do something for him in order to get the combination to the safe. I'm just curious why this guy, you know, Spencer, is in her head. That's why I want to know. But, okay, I'll do something for you somehow. Hey, yo, Spencer. Leave me alone, female. What can I do for you? Shut up. I'm looking for my one true wish. Will you help me? No, but, but, here's mine. That you get lost. We'll talk more later, okay? Do I get to choose? Nope. You don't have a choice. That guy on the motorcycle? Something about him doesn't sit right with me. Ah! <gasps> oh, I just remembered something! I escaped from Fitz Randolph on a motorcycle with a sidecar! Yes! 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 Okay. I was afraid of him for years. Afraid of who for years? I don't want to touch it. Okay. Ever since it got dragon claws, it hasn't barked. I don't want to take a bath. Oh, you don't want to take a bath? They say that my first babysitter, uh, what was her name? Hung it up here to distract me. And that it made me forget the man that makes us not want to bathe. I don't get it, but maybe I don't want to get it. I don't want to stop it. Does it work? It works. Right then, I'll take it with me. I'm perfectly clean, but uh, you never know. Yeah, and then one of them is missing. So I might have to find that. Okay, what items do I have? Okay, I can go back to my sister. Oh, there's the button too. I have another button, so. Can always do that. Uh, button number two. Second button. All done. Holy shit. That's gigantic. Did she have an accident with a crocodile or something? Is that why she's so terrified of it? That's scary. Yeah, it looks scary. I forgot there's a very stupid puzzle on this scene. Really? You don't say. No, better that that stays here. I hate forest fires. Okay. Malaysian parakeets. 
I need to get them down, don't I? Suicide more horrible than that of Lionel Man, who touched the cage of a Malaysian parakeet and was buried in a cocktail shaker. Felicity Fontaine, dying with style. Page 42, paragraph 3. I, I, I know I need to... Wait, you have to use the juicer and the fire hydrant? What? What the fuck is that? I'll squeeze out the juice. What the hell? Why did I do that? Ah, yes. Because I'm known as Looney Liz and every now and then I have to prove it. What the f Yeah, that is stupid. What the fuck is that? What the f And it becomes pain. Of course it does. Because why make sense of anything? Just to get the paint for, for Queenie. Yeah, I figured because it's paint, but I mean, come on. That's. Oh my god. Can I go in? No way. Yeah, she's not going to go in. I need to find a way to make her go in. Card tree. The fruit is too green. Oh, do I need to paint it red? Oh, well, you know what? I'll go back to Queenie first. Where, where was she? Okay. Give her some memory stuff first. Ah, here's a scene so that I remember. Paint early. some stuff for us so that I can remember my myself. Here goes Queenie Fitz Randolph Mansion, horror film award ceremony. Sitting in a falcon spirit, a jerk known as Dan Murray goes up. Now that looks good. Hey. How is it that you've only put him in it? I'm sorry, Lizzie. Murray is breathtaking. I'm going to keep thinking. Get it? Okay. I imagine Queenie's like subconscious. Jerk. Well, your subconscious finds him attractive, so... Okay, bear. Ah, here's a scene that I remembered earlier. Here goes Queenie. I scared a polar bear. Can you believe it? I stood right in front of him. It was a fake polar bear. It was dead. I like it, but uh, don't I look a little strange? No. You are strange, sister. Very strange. I'm gonna keep thinking. Get it? Yeah, good point. She is very strange. And she looks exactly like that in that scene, so. Okay. Uh, I have the red. I can give that to her. For now, she doesn't seem to need it. Oh, she doesn't need it? I don't want to leave this on top. Okay, I'll, I'll have to give it to her later then. Um... And there's the helmet. Ah! Here's a scene that I remembered earlier. It's the last one, the helmet. Here goes, Queenie. I escaped from a Zeppelin on a motorcycle. I started it up on the first try. Wow, I always thought that that helmet would look better on me. You're hyper, Lizzie. Don't let your brain overheat. Thanks to Liz, Queenie had made five lovely paintings. What's the problem? I've run out of flameproof red. I always sign my name in flameproof red. It might seem silly to you, but without my signature, it's as if I didn't paint these paintings. Okay, okay, I'll go out and get you some. Now, on a Saturday night? Tonight is Saturday night? Little sister, in Paris, it's always Saturday night. Here goes, Queenie. If I tell you I have some flame-proof red... I love you. I'll take you out on the town. I'll sign the paintings, and we'll paint the town red. Okay. No. Yes. But it's not that. It's much simpler. Does it do anything for you? Yeah, I like it a lot. Hiya, Lizzie. Let me know if you need anything else, all right? Okay, thanks. Hey, yeah. So, what do you have to say for yourself now? Do you like to have your head on your shoulders? 
Look, it's all the same to me. Is that your sister? The same? Yeah, it's my sister. Thank you. Huh? It's been a long time since I've seen a female that was so... so... female. Oh, stop. A simple thank you would have been nice. And you're not welcome. Thirteen to the right, eight to the left, seven to the right, we're even. Now get lost. And finally, Liz had done something for Spencer McDundy, and he was grateful to her. I've gotten my courage back, and I should be happy, but... Uh, what's Queenie got that I don't got? But Liz had managed to gather up sufficient courage, so... And finally, she confronted her worst fear and came out alive. What's more, inside the crocodile's mouth, she found half a button. Half, half a, button. a button? After all I've done? Thanks. Okay, half a button. Uh. Oh, I need to dancing card. Cards of all types grow on it. These cards are just buds. They don't look like they're gonna grow into postcards, greeting cards, credit cards. Oh, I need to water it. Yes, I'll put it on top of the tree. Uh, although, am I tall enough? I mean, you can always try. Thank you, Mr. Poet. Thanks. He just can come comes and goes in our mind. Okay? And then turn it on. Okay, and you go back to the bath area. Which floor was it? Okay, no, not this floor. Right, turn this on. This reminds me of my my first uh what was it called? Okay, then go back to the jungle area. Voila, cart tree. Get a dancing cart, please. One of them comes with a pen. And I know what to use it for. Dancing card. A dance card. And the first one already belongs to someone. Care to dance? Eliza dancing the tango with you would be enchanting. But, but unfortunately, the orchestra, the orchestra doesn't know how to play, play tango. Eh? So. How did you know that? No idea. It just happens to me sometimes. This can change. So, then, uh, shall we skip the tango? Under no circumstances. Rules are rules. Okay, I'll teach the orchestra to play the tango myself. You can try if you like, but remember, the instruments have to sound in unison, and it's almost certain that not all of them should be heard. What? Is that a puzzle? It's probably a puzzle. What a shame they don't know how to play the tango. I don't know how to play the tango. Let's see, which instrument goes first? Is there a, a way for me to know how to solve this puzzle? Or do I just random guess? Uh... That's good, but remember that you can ask this instrument to stop whenever you want. Okay. Hold on. Remember that there are some instruments that should not be heard. So that one is not it. Hey, careful with the rhythm. 
The instruments must start playing at the same time, and not come in when they feel like it. Rules are rules. This instrument... Yeah, I'm gonna die. This is... This is random, isn't it? Oh, fuck you. This is... Shut up. Okay, this one's correct. Hold on, let me hear the sounds of everything first. Okay, this one seems right. Okay. That's wrong. Okay, that one's not right. Okay, this one's right. Okay. You're not that. No. Hey. Okay. I don't know what the puzzle is. This is so ridiculous. I'm starting to hate this puzzle too already. Not that. Okay, this one's correct. Wait, do I need another one? Okay, yeah, shut up. Oh, do I need the four of these? I need four? No, I mean, how do I do this? I don't know. I don't know this puzzle. The instruments. Oh, shut up. It's horrible. It is a horrible puzzle. You see? Hey, careful. I, I, I started it up at the same time, right? You saw the music notes. It didn't work. Stupid. Hey! 
This is a horrible puzzle. This is a horrible puzzle. I got three just now and I didn't solve it. Apparently I need another one and then it didn't work. It's just it's stupid. It is a stupid puzzle. That's what it is. Maybe I got one of the instruments wrong? Hey! It just doesn't work. Yeah, see, the three of them is correct, right? It's working, but then I don't know what the last one is. Because the drum apparently is wrong, because every time I include it, it's like wrong, but I don't know. drum writer or not is my question or is it some other one that i just keep messing it up because when he says careful with the rhythm i would think that you know the drum is right i just get the timing wrong it's such a nasty puzzle Hey, careful with the rhythm. Yeah, I don't know how to do this. It is the drums, I just don't know how to do it. No, 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 shut up. Okay, thank you. 
2012-2012-1-4. Are we going to see her dance now? That's definitely not the tango. Yeah, that's definitely not the tango. It doesn't suit the music. Yeah. Please, by mustering the courage overcame her. This kind of more like country dancing or club dancing. Probably not the right guests. place to do so. Getting something in exchange. But didn't I have the other half? Dan. But Dan? <laughs> Jerk. Dan, no jerk. Dan strong. Why are you talking that way? Cat, get your verbs? Dan not smart. Dan strong. But Dan, words difficult. Dan, no wish. Please don't tell me no her one true wish is Dan. It seems like I'm supposed to find my one true wish here. Dan strong. Dan one true wish. Finally, Liz had found her one true wish. So her one true wish is Dan. In the person she least expected to find it. No, no, no. There's no wish about it. Nothing. Dan strong. This can't be happening to me. Liz, companion of Dan. This has to be a nightmare. Liz strong. Fight. Combat. Okay, apparently they are kissing now. It's in her mind, but still. So apparently her dream is dance. So she she says she hates Rico hates uh, him. Where are those tickets? But he likes Dan. Tickets, 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 tickets. <laughs> Try not to disturb. Oh dear. Liz. She's relatively stable and she's out of danger. But who knows when she'll wake up? That's not my problem. As far as the other problem goes, which is to say how we are finally going to get free of Fitz Randolph, everything's been taken care of. Define everything. First, I'll construct a chip extractor to liberate the rest of Fitz Randolph's victims safely. Now I'll need you to get me one or two components, said Fly. After all, you're still my volunteer. Plus, you'll have to make sure to keep Fitz Randolph away from here. Oh, okay. He, continued. he can't find out that we've gotten free. Good point. Fascinating. And the part about the escape? That's the best of all. Big Albert is at the end of this hallway with the immaterial man and the poet of pain. Three of the most brilliantly lucid and lucidly brilliant minds of our time. At this moment, they are designing a mass plan that will sink Fitz Randolph's plans. Oh, and I suppose that you also want me to help them, right? Murray, you're a man of action. Leave the thinking to the professionals, okay? Oh yeah? You know what action I feel like taking right now? Breaking your face. <laughs> what a guy. Okay. I'm confused. Okay, so for tea bags. Grab it. Why not? A drink for sissies. <laughs> hey, tea's good. Shut up. Don't shit on tea, okay? Okay, nothing else here. Go back to the laboratory. She's asleep, or rather unconscious. Maybe it opens the door. Okay, holy shit. Oh, 
close, but no cigar. What's she doing? Must be enjoying her time with Dan in her dreams, I guess. Oh, it opens like that, okay. Okay, holy shit. What is this place? Jeez. I feel like kicking it. Drop the head. Don't kick it, I need it. Maybe. I would have rather kicked it, but here it is. No, maybe Dr. Fly need it for some part. I don't know. I can't take the entire barrel. Smells like gunpowder. Gunpowder? Can I take some? No reason not to take a little gunpowder, but how will I carry it? Oh, of course. Dan Murray, seven years old. The gun store of Bill Tuxin, pipe aficionado. My friend Sonny distracted Bill. I emptied the pipe and refilled it with gunpowder. Result? Dan and Sonny grounded for three weeks. Bill Tuxin in the hospital for four. But today it's not a pipe. Let's give it a try. I mean, that works. I hope I learned my lesson. Just when I filled Bill Tuxin's don't pipe drink with it on purpose. The result was disastrous. I mean, we're dealing with Fitz Randolph. I want him to re have disastrous results. Okay, so we got some gunpowder. A lot of like parts here. This is to a laboratory. This is to who knows this where. This to some place far away from the studios for sure. Too far. I'd rather stay in the studios to watch what happens. Scary. Yes, running and hopping. No sarcasm. No. Okay, fine. He's not willing to go there. Okay. Back to the laboratory then. So... I have gunpowder. What do I do with that gunpowder? Dr. Zelsius here, but it still says go to Dr. Zelsius. Okay, before I forget, let me save first. Um, Liz and Dan. Yes. I don't know. Random name. Okay. Uh, do I want to give this to him? Will this work, Half Pint? Oh, of course it will. Why didn't I think of that before? In all these components, there's sure to be something similar to a chip. I'll finish what I'm doing, and then I'll take it apart. Can you use a robot leg for the extractor half pint? A leg? Hmm. No. A leg? No. There are no two ways about it. Oh, fine. Whatever. Okay, I need to distract uh, Fitz Randolph. Maybe I need to bomb something? Who 
do I use it for? What is there inside women's purses? Possibly much more than is inside the heads of most men. Okay, I, I can go. Whoa, 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 whoa. This one only has one hotspot. Okay, I might have missed a way to get to that area. Oh, you can go from here. Ah, my bad. I didn't notice that. Ingenious way to camouflage the entrance to the laboratory. Whatever else Willie may be, he's a guy who knows how to do things right. Okay. It's even uglier than Fly and the Poet put together. <laughs> From one of those horror flicks that Willie makes. He should stuck with horror flicks. But no, he had to go into the shady business. Yeah, I'll go to this one first. A bonbon, Dan Murray to the rescue. Honey, I'm Dan Murray, and you are... Get out of your imbecile. Don't you know who I am? No. Nope. No idea. I'm Eva Marte, the queen of the scream, and this is the Grim Reaper. The oh. two actors the most hated by anyone with a modicum of ethical sense. Good for you. Dear, this imbecile doesn't know who we are. I'm sleepy. You kill him. I wish. But you heard Mr. Fitz Randolph. From now on, we have to behave ourselves. Fitz Randolph is fab. Fitz Randolph loves us all. Well, I'll take the chip off your head and maybe you'll be better. It's Morticia, yes. It's Morticia, but Morticia isn't here to see herself. I mean, if you can summon her, it's Morticia. Here you are. Look, you're featured in the game. Is it my imagination, or are you two a little sadistic? I love kitties. Me? I love little birdies. Fascinating. Cats are nice and crunchy. Birds, even more so. Fatso. Pig. Old man. Filthy. I love you. I adore you. Fascinating. They have a very interesting relationship, right, the two of them. Two things that you like, off the top of your heads. The sobbing of a child. Funerals. Why does Fitz Randolph want you to behave yourselves? Because now we're his spokespeople, imbecile. His spokespeople, stupid. Speaking for what? Of something we're not authorized to tell you about. If we told you, we'd have to kill you. But we can't kill people either. I see. What a mess. Uh, what have a feeling they have like a criminal record somewhere? What are you doing here? Waiting for Fitz Randolph to let us go, imbecile. Waiting, stupid. I'm leaving. Aya, imbecile. Aya, stupid. Whose is this? Let's see who this belongs to. Mystery solved. Liz Allaire's press pass. That's it. But I'm curious about this. Hmm. Although I hardly know you, I know you'll be an important person in my life. And signed by Zelsius. Is that pig trying to hook up with Liz? I'll show him. But then... Why do I care? It's not as if I were interested in that half-wit. Let's see what else. You are interested. And that's how everything ended up for Dan Murray. Mm. He found the tickets that he wanted so much, he went home, he had a nice siesta on the sofa, and counted the minutes until Friday night. Yeah, right. Although, who are we trying to fool? We all know that Dan wasn't there for the tickets, right? Anyway... 
At last, I have what I want. I could get out of here right now, but... What would that band of incompetence in the laboratory do without me? Let's get this thing over with. Okay. Anything else? I was so amazed by the tickets that I stopped looking. Yeah, keep looking. There might be important stuff. Nothing else is worth it. Ah, oh, fine. Okay. Nothing else is important here, I guess. I'm except the chair. Can I take the chair? There's something sitting on it. A letter and three numbers. Who knows? A letter and three numbers? One number and three letters. What can they be for? B025. Maybe a password or something. Okay, go through that door. This leads outside the building and... Ah, this building is where Willie's office is. But I'm not leaving for now. Oh, okay. Into this door then. Bingo, there's Willie watching a flick that that Eli Edmund, uh, that guy who's painted blue is showing. Although it's more of an interview than a flick. Main characters, the sadistic couple, and Liz Allaire. Back to work. Well, if it isn't my buddy Murray, stop the film, Kajanovsky. Whatever you say, Mr. Fitzrandall. Zelsius already let you go? How are you? Better than you. Are you sure? Just what I said. Fitzrandolph is fab. That's better. I'm glad to have you on my side. Good for you. Fitzrandolph loves us all. <laughs> what a guy. Wit and style in spite of everything. Working? I'm just finishing watching a short advertisement that we just filmed. As soon as I'm done, I'll stop by Celsius Laboratory and see how everything is going down there. Wait for me there, okay? What's the film you're watching? I need to distract him. Tomorrow, them. you'll find out, Murray. You don't trust me? Fitz Randolph is fab. Of course I trust you, but... Uh, later, when I finish watching it, come by my office and I'll tell you. Is it a deal? Deal. How'd the screening go? Smooth sailing. The film transmits exactly what it should transmit. Don't go down to the laboratory because... Zelsius and I need our privacy, huh? Although I hardly know you, I know you will be an important person in my life. Yours, Barry Zelsius. <laughs> what uh... Murray, my friend, you're a fountain of surprises. Yeah. I only knew. And Zelsius, too. Who would have guessed? Anyhow, I won't mess up your plans. I'll cancel my visit to the laboratory and I'll leave you two alone. Deal? Deal. I Thank hope you. that Willie keeps his mouth shut, because that lie could do a lot of damage to my reputation. Yeah. Because I have too many girlfriends who would be more than a little surprised. But anyway, in exchange, I get the tickets and Willie's word that he won't go into the laboratory. Start it up again, Kajanovsky. Yes, sir. All right. I should stop and go in there. I need to find materials for the chip extractor. This leads. Okay. I need some. The elevator that leads to Zelsius's laboratory is behind here. Nice. Elevator one, Murray zero. I think it's this. I'll dial the four digits from the note. Elevator two, Murray four. Great comeback. Game over. Nice.
Will this work, Half Pint? Hey! The thing in the center is one of the glass things that Celsius uses to charge the chips. There are no two ways about it. Murray, with this, I have everything I need to build a reliably safe chip extractor. Let me nice. work for a bit and I'll have it in no time. Thanks awesome. for the components, Murray, said Fly. Give me a little while to work on this and I'll have the chip extractor shining and ready in no time. Hey, uh, Looney, uh, thanks for the tickets. I was thinking that it... I have an extra one. Uh, I know boxing ain't your thing, but... So anyway, get better, okay? You've got to be strong, Vince. Strong, just like a rock. Yeah. Dan Strong. Liz Companion Dan. Liz Strong. Liz Break It. <laughs> Finally! I was dying to get a chance to talk to myself. I'm gonna give myself a piece of my mind. Okay, I'm back to playing as Liz. Hey yo! Hey yo! How's it going? Here I am. Ah. And you? Here also. How nice. Well, yes. That's very awkward. Fitz Randolph is fab. What? Fitz Randolph loves us all. I never say fab. It's never too late to change, Liz. Change to say fab? Change so that William A. Fitz Randolph can be the first monster in Congress. Finally, Liz understood that if she wanted to get back to being herself, she would have to free her other from the yoke of Fitz Randolph. Of course. How'd I do that? If I catch myself rummaging through the bag, I'll get very mad at myself. Yes, yes, yes. Better not to do that in front of Liz. Oh, fine. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Do you have any electric blue nail polish? No. But I wish I did, because I've been wanting to paint my nails since yesterday afternoon. Me too! Ever since I escaped from a Zeppelin! Me too. <gasps> it's amazing how alike we are, Liz! You're the same person. Literally. Do you know how I know that you're not me? But Liz, I am you. By your makeup, Liz, I would never make myself up like that. Uh, that wasn't me. The makeup director insisted that these were my ideal colors. Well, they look terrible on you. Fitz Randolph loves us all. That bad? So bad that I feel embarrassed for you. Me. I'll be right back. Okay, we distracted her. Nora, are you there? Ugh, what a pain. Where were you going? The makeup director isn't here, and on top of that, she took her things. Huh. Oh, I need to find her now things. Now what? That's what I say. Fitz Randolph is fab. I have to tell you something about Fitz Randolph. Fitz Randolph has brainwashed you, and I'm grateful to him. It's important to keep these things clean. Fitz Randolph is fab. You escaped from his Zeppelin, don't you remember? Of course I remember, but I was mistaken then. Fitz Randolph loves us all. He's a friend of Dan Murray, that jerk. No, of that jerk? Yes, Liz, of that jerk. That can't be. I don't believe it, Liz. Let's drop Fitz Randolph. I will always follow him. Fitz Randolph is fab. Aya, Liz. Aya, Liz. Oh my God. It's full of strange things. Let's see. A clamp. And a magnet. Pros. Better to have these two things than not. Cons. And why do I want them? I don't know. I can use it later. By now it'll be all melted. Oh, sit.
Well, okay. Not sure what to do, but I guess I can take a break here for a bit. I need to wash my bowl because I've just finished lunch. And then after that, I'll come back and keep playing this game. It's very weird, but I like it. Thank you. 